No, Cracker Barrel is not ist. We're doing it live. Hello, everyone. I am Mecca Random 42, the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy. If you guys do like my content, hit the like, subscribe, share button. YouTube will lie to your face and tell you that, oh, you you just unsubscribed yourself. No, no, that's not the case. I've been getting into it with with YouTube on, on Twitter lately because of because of this, because of the shadow banning, because I talk about stuff like like this. Apparently, some people are lying about Cracker Barrel. Cracker, according to this Twitter user or, or Instagram, is this Instagram? Is absolutely not true. This is somebody reading way too much into this. And I'm not going to, and I'm not going to even acknowledge what they're insinuating. Insinuating. This isn't even the first time. This isn't even the first time people have gotten mad at Cracker Barrel. Someone wanted to cancel them for how to change their name because they find it offensive. This is another one. Someone who doesn't quite understand. Racial inequality has launched a petition to convince a roadside comfort food chain to change his name. So, so this is somebody. This is on the opposite side. And actually, and actually it, it has no, any, any ethnic connotation whatsoever whatsoever if anybody actually bothered to i don't know look up what they're naming the store after what they're naming the store after they might understand so it has gone from being istinphobic against black people against white people it has gone from people just want to complain and read just to get their little endorphin rush just so they can feel morally superior to you by calling out and virtue signaling and wanting to cancel and wanting to complain and re and scream about everything. Ah, that's not the right thing. Because when you actually go in and look at it, the answer is in the logo. The answer is right there in the logo. There we go. The answer lies in the logo. The term Cracker Barrel was first used in 1916. And it emerged from the country stores of the era. Also, actual barrels of crackers. The phrase Cracker Barrel was inspired by the barrels full of soda crackers that were for sale in the country's country stores. Each barrel stored the popular soda crackers, much like the southern flavored saltine crackers or the northern favorite common crackers. And visitors, visitors to the store sat around the barrels chatting and catching up on the day's news. Hence the friendly homespun character touted out by the dish by dictionary definition that's why the logo tells the store's origin story and the history of his tradition take a look the figure sits in a rocking chair and leans on a barrel that's presumably filled with those eponymous crackers there he is right there there's a barrel filled with saltines it isn't anything it's not a whip it's a swirly logo that looks like a pumpkin more than anything can you just shove this for one goddamn minute, people? People, this isn't even the thing. And, and this shout out to that umbrella guy for tweeting this out. Both of these pictures. Because I didn't even notice that they were offended in the other way. Like, n n all right, all right. I get called this all the fucking time. All the fucking time. And I've been told that I'm not allowed to be offended by some slur like this because of the color of, because of my appearance. Even though I'm mixed with a lot of different things that, I don't want to get into in this in this video because it's not relevant. It's not relevant. It's not about me. It's about idiocracy. It is about we have finally gotten to this point. We've finally gotten to the point where people are just so goddamn stupid that they're finding ist and phobic and re in absolutely everything. In absolutely everything. And it's not the case. This is a swirly swirl. It's going from the R to the K. Oh, so cancel the letter K because some people have used it. You know what? Let's just let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Some people might be offended by a store because some people have jobs and some people don't. Some people might be offended by a restaurant and they're they're offended because they can't afford to go in and, and eat there. So cancel restaurants because people can't afford them. You know, and, and some people, some people have a harder time breathing than others. So cancel oxygen while we're at it. Just cancel breathing altogether. 
then all the all the ists and phobes you don't like are not going to be consuming any of that nasty oxygen that you don't want to have because when you're going out of your way to be mad at the letter K in a fucking logo or mad at a saltine, we've gone too far. We've gone too far. We've really, really gone too far. And I was so tired of this. And, and I get the, the connotations and the slurs, especially with the first word here. But for, for fuck's sake, for fuck's sake, if I'm not allowed to be mad about this, nobody else is, right? That's, that's kind of where we're at. And I am more mad that people have the ability to complain about the most asinine things and that people listen to them. We need to be in a society, and I'm not, I'm not saying we want to censor anybody because I think everybody's entitled to their wrong opinion, but I want to be in a society where I can say, no, shut your goddamn mouth. This is bullshit. We know this isn't the case. We know this isn't the case. If you just looked at their wiki, if you looked at their wiki page, we're going to pull up their wiki live. We'll pull up the wiki. About... The restaurant chain. This might be a little easier to read this other way. There we go. The article about the restaurant chain for the cheese brand in Canada. See Cracker Barrel cheese for the cheese brand in Australia. See warm, warm. Oh, I can't read that. Warna Bull cheese and butter factory. Warna Bull. I have no idea. WCB. Hey, world class bullshitters owns it though. Apparently. Shout out to Jeff. Cracker Barrel Old Country Store is an American chain of restaurant and gift stores with a southern country theme. Well, oh, cancel the South. Some people did some bad things in the South. Just cancel the South altogether. Re, right? Are we supposed to go re because something like just, just oh, just cancel people. Some people did some bad things. Let's just cancel all people. Can we do that? The company was founded by Dan Evans in 1969. Giggity. Its first store was in Lebanon, Tennessee. The corporate offices are located in a different facility in the same city. The chain stores were at first positioned near Interstate Highway exits in southeastern and mid the Midwestern when Midwestern, I can't say that United States, but expanded across the country during the 1900s and 2000s. As of September 1st, 2019, the chain operates 660 stores in 45 states. Cracker Barrel's menu is based on traditional Southern cuisine, with appearance and decor designed to resemble old-fashioned and old-fashioned general store. Each location features a front porch with a wooden rocking chairs, with some wooden rocking chairs, not one, a stone fireplace, and decorative artifacts from the local area. Cracker Barrel partners with country music performers, and it engages in charitable activities, such as assistance to victims of Hurricane Katrina and inter- injured war veterans. Oh, that's just a terrible thing. And wanting to help other humans? Oh, just cancel them because some of those people might live in a location that, that is cancelable by proximity. Oh, that's just a nasty southern people. Oh, just cancel them all. I'm, I'm being very, very sarcastic, by the way. By the way, during the early 1990s, the company became the subject of controversy when the founder and CEO Dan Evans installed official company policy pr- prohibiting the hiring of any of those people. See, this is the thing you want to cancel it for. Sexual preferences fail to demonstrate normal heterosexual values following massive public backlash and large shareholders such as the New York City employee retirement system threatening to vote out the entirety of upper management. The company reversed its policy. Okay, so they, so they fixed it. So they fixed it. That's, that's a good thing. So they fixed it. They got rid of the guy who's like, we don't want to hire anybody but straight white dudes. Comfort food pisses me off. I can't eat like a teenager, right? Comfort food is just going to stick to my ass. Cancel comfort food. You know, just cancel food. Just make everything in small nutritional supplement form. So nobody overeats and everybody is slim and perfect and model thin. Just take away that freedom while we're at it. While we're at it, right? All right. So, so this just looks like a lot of, they've made some improvements to keep it more equal opportunity. It seems like they're just pissed off and they want to cancel it because they read it just a little bit down. They didn't finish the whole article. They didn't finish the whole, well, and this is a wiki too. So the wiki can be changed. Clearly you can always change your wikis. And the fact that I don't even know if I want to believe any of the wiki stuff about this. So in other news, in other news, people are offended because they don't understand that saltines used to come in barrels. <laughs> saltines used to come in barrels. They think a swirly swirl logo is a whip and they don't understand shit about shit. That's just a fancy way of connecting. That's just, that's just designing words to make them kind of flowy, kind of flowy. 
and re because reasons you know there's plenty of reasons to cancel Cracker Barrel and it looks like for any reason you would have had to cancel them they've since amended they've since fixed meaning the discriminatory against LGBTQ people for example you know the sexual quote-unquote orientation or quote-unquote preference or whatever is going to be the cancelable offensive term in the future please you know it, disclaimer if you're canceling me for something that I said in the article bite me that's kind of where we're at if you're trying to cancel me oh you said the wrong bite me we don't care we're past that it said so in the wiki so bite my ass i am mecca random 42 i am going back to my live chat don't you guys go anywhere thanks for watching if you liked it make sure to hit that like button and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video bye what it is big mama my mama raised no dummies i duck a rap